Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American expat. And I've got taxes on my mind today because Joe Biden and his State of the Union address, I know it's starting to get a little bit stale here talking about the uh, State of the Union address, but I saw this article on Fox News, their website, about the IBM vice chair pointing out flaws in this Biden billionaire tax claim or whatever. Um, and it got me thinking, you know, why do so many people fall for this lie about uh, we're going to tax the rich thing? Or we're going to tax the 1%. You know, politicians have been talking about this forever. And have you noticed that they never actually do it? Thanks for sticking with us. So, yeah, it is, um, it's crazy to me because I've heard this all my life about taxing the rich and how we're just going to get them to pay their fair share. And um, it never really materializes. And Joe Biden did it again today. He brought out the same old stuff about we're going to tax the rich. And I, I, you know, I wondered again to myself, why do so many people fall for this? The first thing you need to know is that there never will be a 25% tax on the richest people in America, not in uh, the way that Biden's talking about it. Sure, they could pass it. They could put it in law. Like, you know, if you make this much, then you have to pay this minimum income tax of 25%. The only trouble is the top 1%, these billionaires, you know, and millionaires, they're not making an income like you do. They're not going to a job and filling out, you know, the tax documents and, you know, paying their taxes on their income because they don't have a job. They don't have a salary. They don't have to go in and put the minimum number of hours or whatever in or, you know, try to get overtime. They don't do that. They don't get paid an income because they don't have a job. So how are you going to do that? You could pass whatever income tax law you want and they're not going to pay 25% because they don't have an income. Not like you and I. They make their money a different way. So I, I'm sure that Joe Biden, well, he might know this at this point. It's questionable what he knows and what he doesn't. But uh, the politicians that are promising you all of these wonderful things about the rich and we're going to tax them and make them pay their fair share. Guess what? They're ne it's never going to happen. They're never going to do it. One, because those are the people that put them in power. And two, because uh, the way they're talking about it, it's just not possible. So, yeah, don't worry about that. It's not going to happen. Now, let's say, though, let's say that magically they found a way to get those uh, those top 1%, the, the rich, the millionaires and the billionaires, they got them to pay their fair share. So they're going to tax them at that minimum 25% of w whatever it is they're going to tax. And, okay, what, is, what does that mean? Is that actually going to help you? Is that going to help me? Are you going to see anything out of that 25%? Probably not. Yeah, uh, problem. Well, actually, definitely not. You're you're not going to get any of that money. It's not going to help you. In fact, it's probably going to go into you know the kinds of things the government likes to do. You know, like those foreign wars they're always fighting. Yeah, it'll go to buy tanks and bullets and bombs and jets and that sort of thing. It'll go to to make a, I don't know, a monthly payment on one of those um, aircraft carriers that we have, the many aircraft carriers. And I'm not you know saying we shouldn't have that kind of stuff. I'm just saying that's where the money's going to go. It's not going to come to you. I mean, maybe if you're in the military or something like that, or you work for the federal government and you get a salary, then sure, you know, some of that 25% uh, tax is going to come to you or, uh, you know, that, that sort of thing. But as a regular person, most of us don't do those things. So you're probably not going to see any of that, uh, that tax. It's not going to help you. At all. And I'm not here to defend, you know, these rich people that are going around. Yeah, I found it laughable. So they had the IBM vice chair go on Fox News and he's talking about, you know, the, the flaw in Biden's tax thing and how it's not going to. Oh, this is not good for the economy. It's like, come on. Who are these? They know it just as well as I that this is never going to materialize because it doesn't mean anything. A 25 percent income tax on the richest people in the country. Give me a break. 
never going to happen. Never, ever, ever going to be doing it. Yeah, it's just impossible the way things are. Uh, so it's kind of a joke. I guess they create these uh, these fake battles these fake uh, rallying cries, I guess, to try and get people to come out and vote for them. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. You know, it's kind of like how abortion was with the Republicans for a long time. We're going to do this. And, you know, they were never really going to do it. In fact, they're probably quite upset that the Supreme Court, you know, ruled the way that they did, to be honest with you. I mean, sure, there's some Republicans who are probably happy about it. But for the most part, they're like, no, you took away one of our best, uh, you know, rallying cries. Now, what are we going to say to people to get them to vote for us? They can't pretend to be fighting for, you know, the, the uh, abortion bans or whatever it is, which, by the way, the Supreme Court ruling doesn't actually ban abortion. It just gives the states the, the, the ability to choose the people that live there, what they want to be the law. So, yeah, it, it's uh, it's never going to happen. And all of this stuff is just fake. And even if they did, it wouldn't help you. So just uh, just keep that in mind whenever you hear a politician saying anything really that uh, they're not they're not serious it's not real it's all pretend just a big show to try and manipulate you and me and get us to do things and it's never ever really going to happen because they don't care about us they just care about getting an office you know I'm sure Nancy Pelosi does she really care about anything or does she just care about being in there where she can get insider information to continue you know making her millions and millions of dollars off the stock market all the time probably that I, I don't think she'll probably say anything to stay in power, you know, she'll probably do anything, please, what, whoever it has to be, to be able to stay in that position to make the money that she's making. And the same goes for all of them. They have their little things that they do to enrich themselves. And um, that's what it's all about. So if Joe Biden is going to come out and say, we're going to do 25% minimum tax on the richest people, get them to pay their fair share. No, he's, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> That's just the, the, the manipulation at work trying to get you to, to vote for him. And, uh, well, I don't know if he's actually going to make it to the, the election, but um, that's what it's about. It's manipulation to get you out there to vote for those Democrat politicians who are on his side, who are actually on their own side, Republicans the same. Now, if you have a good politician in the place where you live, then I, you know, you, sure, I'd love to hear about them, but I, uh, I, I don't believe they exist. It's kind of like leprechauns at the end of the rainbow. I just don't believe it exists. You can't ever get there anyway, even if you tried. And believe me, I've tried as a kid to get to the end of the rainbow, and it just never works. You can't get there. And the one time when I got the sprinkler to make the rainbow and it was right there, no leprechaun, no pot of gold just like our wonderful politicians that we have now. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. I guess uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.